world's most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to talk about four reasons your hip pain will not go away. Mm -hmm. Many people blame their hip pain, especially as you get older, on osteoarthritis. Right. right. And they may have been told even, you know, that due to a scan, they had bone-on-bone -bone deterioration. Sure. So you think, well, it's arthritis, there's nothing I can do. Better get a replacement. Yeah, better get a replacement. No. <laughs> you should try these things first. And these are the four reasons it might be actually hurting. It, it, osteoarthritis may be contributing to it. Sure, so. sure. But uh, a lot of times you, you take care of these four things and the pain diminishes right. to a point where you can manage it. And, and the, it's a win-win situation because even if you do have a hip replacement, these are going right. to make the surgery and the rehab go better, and it's going to be a stronger. It's very depth. beneficial right. to, uh, mm -hmm. for for surgery. So the first thing is inadequate hip strength. We we see this very often, especially if you had pain for a while. Right. You start favoring that hip, and it becomes weak, which actually contributes to the pain, makes it even worse. Right. So um, I might as well say right now, Brad, with all four of these issues. Yep. We have lots of videos on how to address them. Right. So, and it's actually part of a hip pain program. Right. So go to bobandbrad.com, go to the program section, go to the hip pain that you'll find under the program right. section. And we'll, you can read all the titles there. And right. We have all the videos for hips all in one area, very convenient for you. Look for the title that addresses your problem and play it. And what else, Brad? Oh, wonderful thing. There's a PDF printout for each video so that you can print it out. It shows a review of the video. It shows exercises from the video. Uh, there's no charge. There's, we don't even want your emails completely free. And uh, take advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, check it out. It's our gift to you. So next thing, uh, number two, and this is actually a big one too, is inadequate range of motion mm -hmm. of the hip. The hip's not moving as well as it should be. Right. Right. And, you know, you'll often see that with maybe external rotation. You can't even cross your leg over right. anymore. And if you regain that range of motion, which isn't difficult to do, right. um, you, it actually can decrease the pain. Right. Like, you, do, you do need to do the exercises. You need to do it. Do them consistently. Yes, yes. You have to, you have to follow the program. Uh, number three, if you have inadequate hip activity, the, like, in other words, you're sitting too much, yeah. you're standing too much, the hip joints do not like that. Right. They they want things moving, and so we're gonna we show you in the video ways you can keep that hip moving. Right. Without creating undue pain and uh, things like that, there's always options, and that's yeah. what therapists do best. And you can fit it into your day. We'll yep. we'll figure out how that works. So number four is if you have improper positioning of the hip during the day. Now this this comes about like even if you walk incorrectly sometimes uh, mm -hmm. and you're not engaging the glutes. Sure. You know the, the the hip could be moving forward and pinching. Yep. So there, there's and also even if you you're sitting too much or you're sitting with the knees higher than the hips. Yep. You're pinching that hip again. Yep. You're putting pressure on it. So maybe yep. you sit like this and because of a habit over the years and you're not aware of it. That may do it. Yep. Sleeping or, incorrectly. Yep, that's exactly right, Brad. And, or standing like uh, w some people stand and, and put more weight on one hip than mm -hmm. the other. Yep. Um, so there's all sorts of things. Again, we have plenty of videos on this. We apologize. This this doesn't really solve any problems for you, this video. It's just to make you aware of the other videos. Right. It gives you a guide. And, uh, you know, we've had a number of people comment, like, I, I want this video. And it's like, oh, we already have it. And it's, it's just, this is a really efficient way for you to get right to the point and uh, help you problem solve. And, and find the video you need. Yeah. So we, we know we got strengthening, stretching, positioning, and movement in the hip pain program. Check it out. Right. Short video. Thanks for watching.